So let's start creating some proper paths here inside Photoshop. The pen tool will actually let you create three different types of paths. I'm going to start things off nice and easy with straight paths. Straight paths are the easiest types of paths to create. All I would do is simply single click where I want the line to begin, move my mouse a little bit further away, and single click where I want that line to end. That's all there is to it. And then, of course, I'll hold down Command or Control one more time, single click inside some white space. That deselects my path. And sure enough, there is indeed a path sitting there right where I had drawn it. That's all there is to creating straight lines. I'll do this one more time. I'm going to move my mouse over to the next guy here. Here's a neat little trick. I'm going to single click and then rather than just single clicking a second time, I'm going to hold down the shift key and that will create for me a perfectly straight path. I can do that either horizontally or vertically and of course hold down command or control and click inside some white space inside your file to deselect. How about creating straight lines with a closed object? No problem. It's all about single clicking here. And I'll just bring my cursor back over the starting anchor point. And again, notice the hollow circle that appears beside my pen nib, indicating that I just created a closed object. So in this case, there's no need to command click or control click away in some white space. Last but not least, this guy here. I'm going to use my shift key here. That locks my line into the nearest 45 degree angle. Single clicking, that's all there is to it. Again, command or control click away. Okay, so there's creating straight paths with the pen tool inside Photoshop. How about creating curved paths with the pen tool? This is the second type of path that we can create with the pen tool here. So I'm just gonna pan down a little bit. I'm holding down the space bar on my keyboard. And here I have some curved lines inside our sample file. This is where things start to get a little bit more tricky. And it'll probably take you a little bit of practice to really get this down. So I'm going to begin on the starting point here. And what I'm going to do is click and drag to this red dot here on the left hand side. So creating curves is all about clicking and dragging. So I'm going to bring my cursor now down to the number two and I'll click and drag to my right, thus creating the two anchor points and a curved path in between. I'll hold down command or of course control on the window side, click away, that deselects. Now, how about something like this, a little bit more complex. So I'm gonna click and drag up to the red dot. I'll click and drag down to the blue dot. Click and drag up to the green dot. And I'll click and drag down to the orange dot. Command or control click away, that'll finish it off. Last but not least, how about creating a closed object with your curves? No problem here. I'll click and drag up. Now the trick here to creating your curved paths, I don't know if you've picked up on this or not, but the direction that I click and drag in with the first anchor point determines the curve of the path. So here I've clicked and dragged up to the red dot, and then by clicking and dragging down to the blue dot, that creates an upward curve there. You can see that. I can also pull these guys left and right. These lines here that appear, by the way, when I create a curved path, these guys are called direction lines, and I can always manipulate these direction lines if I want to. All right, so let's say something like that, and then I'll bring my cursor back over top of my beginning point. There's that circle beside my pen nib one more time, and all I'll do is single click there, and that will finish off my circle. 